We're also getting an update just in on the urgent search in the dark waters for a missing person. We were there late this evening as Orange County deputies scanned the water for any clues. They spent all day at the pond along Salem Drive and Marietta Street near East Colonial Drive that is west of North Chickasaw Trail. News 6's Jennifer Ortega joins us there live with the breaking updates on this case. Jen. Yeah, we were here as deputies cleared the scene just a couple of hours ago. Search and rescue were on the water for nearly nine hours. Now the search has been suspended for the night, but still a lot of questions up in the air. A rescue team scanned this retention pond since noon this afternoon, using sonar devices in their search effort, but came up empty handed. Deputies tell us this all started with a call to 911 about a distressed person in the middle of the water. Heard some screaming, basically I heard, ah, it bit me, and a lot of yelling and screaming. Um, kind of could see something in the distance, but it was pretty faint and far away. Got a better sight with the binoculars. At that point, I kind of knew someone was in distress. There's no way to really jump the fence and get over there, so I uh, called 911 on the cell phone. Eric Wolf telling us it looked like the person was fighting to stay above water. Deputies say a neighbor reported seeing a six-foot alligator in the pond earlier today. Tonight, we talked to experts at Wild Florida. They say it's mating season for alligators and people need to be on alert. If it was alligator-related, they probably saw him and or were swimming too close to this alligator. Somebody got territorial and decided to show this guy who's boss. Experts say if you are bit by a gator, the best thing you can do is fight. We say fight every time, and that involves punching, kicking, everything you can. Authorities say they found a shirt and a shoe in the water earlier today, but they're not sure if those are connected to the case. They say they'll be out here tomorrow morning to continue searching. Live in Orange County, Jennifer Ortega, News 6.